When I started this channel, I made a promise with myself that if I ever made a mistake or gave out false information, I'd smash an egg against my head. Hi everyone, welcome to Palta Tech. Last week, I released a video called My Favorite Focus Tip. Overall, not a bad video, and if you haven't seen it yet, be sure to go check it out. I was a little too amped up on caffeine though. <laughs> anyway, in that video, I go over autofocus for video and some tips using manual focus with back button autofocus and so forth. However, toward the end of the video, I said this, there is one thing you cannot do and that is set the camera to C for continuous autofocus and then start rolling video and then use the AF button on the back to lock the focus in place. <laughs> if you can do that, I was unable to figure out a way to do it. And then later on in the video, I even asked Fujifilm <laughs> <laughs> to make this a new feature for their cameras. I would love to have a way for the camera to lock focus if I want to while I'm in continuous mode while shooting video. Fujifilm. <laughs> Please! But there's one problem with all of this. You can do it already. You can lock autofocus when you're shooting video in continuous focus mode. Part of the confusion with all of this is that there are these three different settings right here. You see them? Remember, these are the settings you get to when you press and hold down the DISP back button. You don't always see all these settings in the regular menu. They are AF lock only, AE AF lock, and AF on. And yeah, they can be easy to miss. <laughs> At least they were for me. And actually, this is good for all of us to remember because you can access additional features such as the RGB histogram and AF lock only via that custom DISP back button and not the regular menu. So first off, Fujifilm, your camera teams can go home now and get some rest. No need to worry about pal to tech and be up all night adding video autofocus continuous AF lock to a firmware update. It's already in the camera. Sorry for the false alarm. Now for the rest of us, here's how you deal with that setting. AF lock only. When you assign a button AF lock only, that just locks focus and that's it. If you're in stills mode, not video, but stills mode, and you press a back button that has been assigned to AF lock only, the camera will just lock your lens to whatever focus position you are at that exact moment. It freezes the lens. It does not autofocus. It just freezes the focus you're already at at that moment. The next one, AE AF lock. This does exactly the same thing as what I just discussed with AF lock only, except it also locks in the exposure. And now we come to AF on. This is what you would want to assign to a custom button if you're shooting stills and you want to have back button focus. When you press it, the camera immediately auto focuses. And then as long as you're keeping your finger pressed down on that button, the focus will remain locked, right? And you can recompose your shot, exactly like using the shutter release. So now with video shooting, and this is the new information, this is the correction I'm making to my video from last week. Week, if you have your video focus mode set to C for continuous. Now, as you roll video and you start, you know, moving the camera, the camera is going to be auto focusing constantly as you're moving the camera around. You see that? However, if you set one of these buttons to AF lock only, so in other words, press and hold down DISP back button, I'm going to go ahead and assign it to my Q button. I don't use the Q button very much. And there I go, AF lock only, okay? So now I've assigned my Q button, or you could do any button you want, to AF lock only. So now I'm shooting video video in continuous autofocus mode. You see how the camera is autofocusing as I'm moving it around? However, now if I want to just freeze and lock the focus, I simply press and hold down that button that I assigned to AF lock like this. Boom. Okay, now I'm pressing and holding it down. Now as I move the camera around, look at that. Nothing's changing. Nothing's refocusing. And if I take my finger off the button, right? There, see that? And don't forget what I mentioned in my other video about further refinements you can make to the custom button where you could either have it only active while you're pressing it down or you can set it so that it goes into an on off kind of a switch. You press it once, you can shoot all day and it will not change autofocus and then you can press it one more time and it'll then autofocus. Okay, so to sum up, if you're shooting stills and you wanna try out that back button focus, go ahead and assign a custom button to AF 
on. Interestingly, the X-T4 defaulted to doing that, right, over how it used to be with the X-T3. However, if you're shooting video in continuous autofocus, then go ahead and either assign the AF on button to AF lock only, or just pick a different button and assign AF lock to that. And that's what you can use to freeze the focus while you're shooting in continuous autofocus mode for video. I do want to say two things before I go. The first is a big thank you to Benjamin for pointing this out. And it would have been very easy for all of you to jump all over the YouTuber for such a stupid mistake, right? But as I've said in the past, the audience for this channel is the best on all of YouTube. And secondly, I spend a lot of time on this channel testing out gear and digging through all of these Fujifilm camera menus. I'm talking hours and hours here, folks. And yet I missed such an obvious and important setting. So let that be a lesson to all you beginners out there who sometimes feel overwhelmed or make mistakes. We all do, every single one of us. And you know what? It's part of learning. And you know what? It's part of the fun in the end. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, be sure to give it the like and subscribe. I will be back in another video very soon. Take care.